Do you want to know the secret to become a DevOps engineer? Listen, I didn't have a degree in a DevOps. Even I didn't have a fancy mentors, but today I'm a DevSecOps engineer at Standard Chartered with 100 plus projects on my GitHub profile. So if you think na, you can't do it, I'm here to prove you wrong. Let me tell you how I did it and how you can do. I'm not here to show off. I'm here to talk with you like a friend. Maybe you just starting. Maybe you lost. Maybe you just need a little push. So I'm here. Please watch this video till the end. Maybe my story will help you. So, you know what? I didn't know DevOps. I didn't even know what GitHub really does. Okay. So, but I wanted to learn something, something new. I show the people are sharing their code, uploading their projects. So I made like my GitHub account, like how I can also start. Do you know what is my first project? Just a simple Python code, which was just printing hello world. So at that time, I was scared. Like I thought, is this good enough? But I still uploaded. And that is like one of the small step, which is change my IT career, change the everything for me. So after that, I didn't stop there. I made small projects, then some, some of them are failed even. Some were the basic, like, but I kept pushing. I explored many areas. You know, the first area which I tried now, which is Python projects, like automation tools, web scrapers, fun utilities like that okay then i like machine learning so i build an uh, indian hand gesture uh, recognition system for the sign language then i explore the machine learning projects like i use the open cv to detect the garbage and waste in indian streets using the machine learning algorithms and uh, tensorflow uh, models for the prediction classification and many more then i move into the cloud and devops and that's how I became cloud and DevOps engineer. So when I started, I started from the AWS projects. Like I used some of the services like EC2, RDS, then the Lambda, CloudWatch, S3. I built full stack application with the pipeline. Then I started with the Docker, like containerizing the applications, building the microservices. Then I jump onto the Kubernetes deployment, scaling, service recovery. I mean. Uh, creating this service disaster recoveries then terraform like infrastructure as a code for the aws and azure and some of them for the uh, gcp also then i started with the uh, security automation tools like in you know, a devsecops tools you can see i worked with this sonar cube secret scanners then security checkers also then the major part as a DevOps engineer that you need to learn is CICD. Okay, so I started with the Jenkins pipelines, GitHub Actions, automated workflows, then multi-cloud cloud projects also I explored across the AWS and Azure. So the main thing is I tried everything I could touch, like not because just I knew everything. No, no. It just because, but I love that way how I am learning. That's why. So let me say something clearly, like GitHub projects changed my career. It is not just a place to upload a code. It is your, like you can say, public notebook, your growth history, your confidence builder. Okay. So when I had a no job, na, my GitHub spoke for me. Like it says, look at what she is building, even if no one told her to do it. Okay. So when I gave the interview, na, they didn't ask me like if I had a degree, they asked me about my GitHub projects. Like there are 150 plus projects are there. 100 projects are public right now. So that's how my GitHub project that felt powerful 
you are even the confidence i also took my learning as a seriously so what i did i i became the uh, github foundation certified then github administrator certified and the third is github uh, uh, action certified for the security okay so these three certifications i did but honestly i didn't do this for the fancy titles i just did it to understand the things better explain them better and help each other so now maybe you are thinking like nancy i can't do it all of this okay please stop that thought okay i started with just a small hello world python code no mentor no connection what i had i mean i had was this just like you can say continuous effort that's it so that is one thing which is enough even if it is a calculator website or even if it is a login page or just a docker file na push that code into the github repository keep going week by week day by day you are just like you can say you are building your own story so let me share one thing i didn't have a guide when i started that's why i want to be your guide right now if you are confused about what to build where to start or even what is the devops devsecops this cloud engineer etc or you you want like how to make your github profile better na i will help you just drop a comment dm me don't think twice we are like all just start with a small step you just need that push to start but we don't have to walk alone okay so like and subscribe this video if this video give that us energy